Monty, and welcome to I Eat Vibes for Breakfast. Hello, thank you for having me. Of course, thank you for coming on. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, for those who do not know, this is my best friend, but she is also an incredible dancer and dance instructor, and has been in music videos, including mine, but not just mine, <laughs> and has been dancing for years, so I cannot wait to talk to her about that, but we're also going to talk about some fun things, play some games. This is a bestie. Oh, Absolutely. This is a bestie episode. We've got mm-hmm. some champagne. So you know the tea is really going to get spilled. Oh, yeah. That's how you know. We're you ready. Know you know. So we always start every episode with a tea of the day. Mm-hmm. So today we're sipping on our literal tea. You told me to surprise you. Yes. What it do is we have? a refreshment Tazo tea. It's caffeine free because it's like almost 10 p.m. Yeah. And you have a baby. <laughs> Thank and you. <laughs> the flavor notes are cool your senses with invigorating peppermint, crisp spearmint, and a pinch of tarragon. Here's the pinch. So let's give it a try. Let's do it. With my reflective white cup. Mm. Mm. So calming. She's good. Yeah, this is my favorite. Mm. <laughs> we both had a headache today. Shout out, Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> and sinuses. And mint is great for that. We were just talking about it like... Tennessee is so bipolar. It literally was like freezing the other day. It was like 20 something the other night. And now today it was like in the 80s. Literally. I mean, that's great, but it's crazy. I had two coats. I was walking out to my car and I stepped outside and I was like, oh, don't need those. Yeah. No, it literally is just like feeling a Bonnaroo of freezing at night. And then you wake up like drenched drenched in sweat. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Every morning I'm like, oh, PTSD of what's Bonnaroo. going on? So I have to like fall asleep with the fan on, just like freezing. Yeah. And I'm like, it's for, it's going to be okay. <laughs> it's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. And speaking of clothes, this dress that I'm wearing is literally, let me tell you about it. It is my mental crisis dress, I've decided. Oh, she has a story. She does. So okay. two weeks ago, I was going <laughs> through it. Everything was going wrong, and there's nothing I could do about it. Oh, no. So I went to this, I wanted to go to this pirate festival in Tampa. Turns out, it's not really a pirate festival. They just charged me twice the parking, there were no decorations. Me, oh, wow. Me and two 70-year-old men were dressed up. But I was not deterred, so <laughs> wow. I was like, I'm going to go shopping. So I go in this boutique, and I find this dress. It fits perfectly. I'm excited. I go to check out, and literally, like, I'm two inches from the desk, and the power goes out in the whole block. No. And the website said, like, it wouldn't go back up to, like, 8 p.m. that night, and it was 3 p.m. So oh, no. It was just like, they were like, okay, well, we can't check you out, even though I had cash. And they were, I was just like, okay. But I had all these emotions about nothing working out, and I was like, I'm channeling it towards getting this dress. So I knew I was going to be back to go to the airport in the morning so I told Nate I was like we'll go early we'll have a beach day yeah we'll get the dress because the hours say they're gonna be a good day yeah Yeah. so I'm like okay cool and so I go to the boutique and what's supposed to be open closed and so I'm like what I have to get this dress I'm going out of town but I'm still determined because I'm channeling all my emotions because it's unhealthy and I'm compartmentalizing and moving on I had therapy (laughs) after that um great (laughs) amazing (laughs) I messaged her on Instagram I'm gonna tell her the story and she's like oh my gosh I was literally just in the bathroom I'm back now Literally, like, five minutes after we were, like, too far to turn back. I had to go to the airport. So I was like, is there any way I can get this from you? And she called me, and I placed an order, and she sent it to me, and now it's here. Look at her. So shout out to her. Look at her. She's working on getting her website up and going. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be great. I just, like, sent I found a picture. I sent it to her, so amazing. I love So it's not it. even the best dress I ever found, but um, it is literally, like... It's giving Juliana. Yeah. It's very Juliana vibes. It's giving... I finally figured it out. Like, you know... When you're trying to find something, you can't give it up. Yeah. That was this. Yep. And you got her. I did. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> so our figurative tea of today is Doja Cat. Ooh, Doja. She's gone a little far off the rails. A little overboard. Yeah. We slash. went from like pink to planet her to those planet her. earthy little festival performances yes. to her announcing that her next album is Hellmouth. Doja. She got like somebody, you know, people started saying she was in the Illuminati and I get, like, trolling people. Because you're funny, Doja. You really are. Oh, I you're get so it. funny, Doja Cat. You are. I mean, if Doja Cat but would we ever watch it. this, I'd be crying. Um, anyway. Oh but it's just, you know, to make it, like, your whole identity is a little loco coco. Yeah. In my yeah, opinion. A little crazy. And it might be a hot take, but I do feel like the devil thing is very overdone. Not only do I feel like it's a bad idea, I also feel like Sam Smith's doing it. Um, Lil Nas X did it. Everybody, everybody's doing done it. it. It's Madonna washed did out. It. Yeah. yeah, it's washed out. We okay. get it. He's he's somewhere. He's trying to come up in here, but you ain't. We ain't gonna let you. Like be the Grim Reaper or something. I don't know. Like yeah. let's get creative, yeah. baby. Like let's go for it. Let's I know that it. conspiracy that she's all washed up in. You could be like a white rabbit. You could be. <laughs> 
That's a symbolism so many thing. Things. There's lots of symbolism. You could just like be a hooded figure. I don't know. Go off. Go off, queen. But uh, not that off. Don't like, go all the way off the rocker. I know we still on. got a hold on you, girl. Get on, baby. <laughs> get on. Yeah. And of, of course, she's going to tour this album. And I'm like, what? I wanted to plan it for her. Maybe tour. she'll troll us so we're all thinking this. What and it'll be like trolling? heavenly. No, what if it is? It'll be he- her Twitter's crazy. I know. We were reading tweets <laughs> the other day and I was like, what we're can like, we read have it? gone too far. Yeah. There was something. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I could not read it on this podcast. So no. Go look for yourself because, like, I don't yeah, if you're sensories. bored and you just want to see some some shit, yeah, go on. <laughs> you can just Doja go on Doja's Twitter. Twitter and you can just cre- keep scrolling. Yeah, keep, keep it scrolling going because it's never gonna stop. She she was singing some song about poop <laughs> or farts. I don't remember what it was, but I was like, oh wow, okay, still sounded great. But honestly, it did. I was like, I was wait, like, what? I was like, yeah, this is a pop. Wait, what is she saying? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and she looked cute too. I was like, mm-hmm. what are you? What's happening here? <laughs> So yeah, Trolling. Doja Cat's funny, but also I hope you're a good girl. Mm-hmm. Like, call us if you want a champagne and chill. Yeah. Speaking of, let's try our champagne. I was gonna say. So ever since I opened for Snoop Dogg, literally everyone who gets me champagne or wine gets me the Snoop Dogg champagne or wine. I'm not complaining. Also, we're drinking out of wine glasses that I painted. Oh yes, Juliana made mom. these. Look how cute they are. Oh, acrylic pour. So I made paintings and then I rolled wine glasses in the paintings. So cute. And Cheers. So, Cheers. Like Hydrated hotties. <laughs> we have so many beverages, guys, like, to be honest. Pop off, Snoop. Snoop Dogg. He never, never disappoints. Never. Our second tea of the day is about Amanda Bynes. I don't know if you oh, heard. My girl. I know. Amanda, por favor. <laughs> it's like, it's so sad because she was, was like naked in the streets and she called the cops on herself because she realized or Girl. called the cops or whoever she called that she was having a psychotic episode and checked herself in, which on that side is good. It's good. Getting it some is, help. Yeah. But like, poor man. First step there. I just feel like when you're exploited as a kid, there's like not a lot you can do. Like you can't I just agree. take it back. Yeah. She worked with yeah. um, Dan Snyder, which we all know. Ugh. Or if you don't know, just like cancel him. That's a whole different podcast. He's so creepy. He should not have been around kids. No. Like the stuff he was writing and posting, and he just inappropriate. And just like Zero clips on shows like iCarly and Victorious had some like really questionable stuff. Very questionable. Mm-hmm. Very questionable. Especially including like feet. Like he was really yeah. weird with that. I don't. I don't appreciate that, Fucking Dan Snyder. So I'm sure one day we're gonna get a pretty crazy tell all from Amanda mm-hmm. Bynes, to be honest. Or maybe not. But maybe she'll take it. Take it with her. Well, I know Demi Lovato is doing a new docu series, which is going to be stars. amazing. It is. I want to. Demi knows what's up. She true, mm-hmm. true. If anybody has been through it, it's definitely mm-hmm. her. Yeah. So yeah, I'm interested to see that. I wonder if she'd have Amanda Bynes. She would probably love that. She probably would. That'd be cool. That would be amazing. Well, I hope Amanda's doing well. Mm-hmm. Um. So sending love to her. I hope she gets better. I'm glad she is in good hands. Well, hopefully, good hands now. Yeah. So that's it with our tea. But so I want to talk about you. So Here you I were am. recently in the Beer With My Friends Shy Carter music video. Tell yes. me about your experience. Honestly, it was amazing. So the choreographer, Jessica Nache, got to shout her out because she just made uh, the yes. whole experience from, like, you know, our first day to all of our rehearsals to, like, on set. Like, it was not stressful at all. Like, she made it fun. She made it a party. Plus, like, Shy Carter, Cole Swindell, David Lee Murphy, they were just awesome. Like, They were not acting like head honchos or nothing. Like, they were talking to everybody, having some beers with everybody. Like, literally, it just felt like a party. It was so fun. That's amazing. It was so much fun. I love some positive stories in the industry. That's amazing. A a 10 out of 10, 100. Not one thing I would complain about. They fed us. They let us take our breaks. No, it was amazing. And you were front and center, as you should. You looked so good. You were killing it. I had so much fun. Crushed it. Thank well, you. I'm glad you had fun, and you were in my music video where we got oh, to box, yeah. and I knocked you out, and that was really funny. Yeah, you I was fell. scared. I was, like, low-key scared in that ring because, like, I don't know shit about boxing, but, like, we got in there, you're like, just do this, Lane. I'm like, oh, my oh. gosh, <laughs> Juliana, <laughs> is this something you need to tell me? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> No, it was we were choreographed. That guy who helped us was really great. Oh, no, he was awesome. Yeah. I just literally, I've never even worn, like, that's crazy. Boxing At gloves. least like I box sometimes, so I was like, okay. I like, never had bit. before. Well, never you killed before. it, and you fell. Like I felt like that fall was good. Oh yeah, he was like, just throw your whole body. I, I was like, I could have done it. Honestly. I've danced. I know how to do that. Contemporary. Nice. Just throw your whole body. <laughs> So there we go, the dance, because, girl, mm-hmm. I would have been like, I'm going to hurt myself. I would have hurt myself. I feel like that's why I had good direction, and I guess memory, just from, like, being in classes and learning Definitely stuff. Definitely like, is, that yeah. Because we, we crushed that. Oh, so yeah. That was, that was awesome. amazing. That was so much fun. 
And you also recently started teaching at a new studio here in Gallatin slash Hendersonville. Yes, Gallatin, Hendersonville area. It's called S Studios. It is a brand new studio. They offer a lot of different variety of classes. I teach hip hop and heels. So I do adult classes, but I also have an open hip hop for just everybody. You can bring your kiddos, bring your cousins, do whatever. And it's, it's very fun. fun. I was just there the other day. Yeah. How, okay. Give me um, a review. Okay. So we went off to Danity Kane, a mm-hmm. showstopper. I show loved stopper. it. I felt like you taught it well. I feel like I got it. I mean, I got a Thank video you. of me doing it at the end. Oh yeah. You yeah. killed it. You were doing good. I had a lot of fun. I feel like I got exercise. My legs are sore. So Mine I are too, it. girl. And yeah. it was just fun. The song is great. Oh, the song's such a bop. Are you kidding? Me? I know, are and I just feel like me? I'm like a proud mom. I literally feel like Chris Jenner when you're teaching. I feel like people are probably looking at me like she's smiling at her so hard. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> oh, look at her. Well, yeah. thank you. So, yeah, no, you killed it. It means a lot for my homies to like be in my class and like support it and just see it every I time I can it. be. I'm here. I know you've pulled up even when it's too hot, <laughs> even when you didn't have dinner or any food that day. I accidentally right. went to her one of her first, like one of my first classes of yours. I didn't eat at all. It was so hot, and it's I almost zero. passed out. But I didn't want to pass out in her new studio. So I just like went outside to lay down so that I didn't fall. And so everyone thought I was way off worse than I was because I was laying down. But I was I really, like, y'all, it's cool. It's cool. Just leave her alone. I've yeah. seen this before. <laughs> like your tattoo. I'm like, I've been through worse with her. Literally. I was like, I just need juice and like cold ground. And I was okay. I didn't pass out, but definitely ate last time. Yeah. And it went better, right? It did. It went great. Good. I felt good. good. Yeah. I was popping off. She it was. was great. Well, well, maybe. I don't know. That's very confident of me to say. <laughs> no, you were popping okay. off. Confidence is okay. Confidence is key in a class. Confidence you better walk in the room and be like, I am the baddest one in here. Killing it. Mm-hmm. And this is one of the only dance studios in this area of Tennessee. Yeah. Because they're all in Nashville. So. There's a lot, but there are a lot of competition based. We're not. We're just like open fun classes. Like yeah, it's just I for like fun. It. And it's like no contract. So if you are in the area, please pull up on me. S Studio better on Instagram. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. So when did you get into dancing? When I was five. Oh my goodness, I was a that's baby. So cute. I know. I annoy. I remember. I was sitting in my living room watching Arthur actually <laughs> when I was really little. I remember uh, one of the little girls was doing ballet on there, and like from the moment I saw that. I just annoyed the hell out of my grandma. That's so and cute. I was like, please take me, please take me, please take me. And eventually she took me. <sighs> and then it went from going one day a week to going five days a week. And Aww. I got into every variety like really young. So it was a, it was awesome. It was at Smart Steps in Hendersonville. Love my hometown studio. Aww, that's cute. Still I talk to that. my teachers. <laughs> I tried to take ballet when I was a small child. I actually, have I told you this? I took ballet with OJ Simpson's kids. Oh my goodness. No. That was where we lived in California <laughs> at the time. What a time to be alive. <laughs> It was crazy, but I did not like ballet because I like I just wanted to make up my own thing, and the teachers didn't like that, so I yeah. didn't have a good time. Like dancing on the eggs, like jumping from a day. I like vividly remember that. I was like, I'm going in my own order. I'm doing my own thing. Let me thrive. <laughs> Let me be. So I ended up being an artist. I do wish I would have stuck with dance a little bit. Like you still kill it. Are you kidding wait, me? I'm trying. Have you seen your performances on stage? Uh, hello. I'm trying. I'm trying. She kills it in the chair. The hair flips. Oh, you was flipping was your one. hair the last performance, and I was like, oh. You better flip that hair. Everyone's you, like, you told up. me to. I showed you my dance, and you were like, yeah. you need a hair flip right there. And it literally Powerful. escalated the performance. People cheered Powerful. at that point. Mm-hmm. I was like, that's my girl. She told me to do that. <laughs> that was a video I posted on all the places. Mm-hmm. So you did that. Hairography, baby. I mean, I didn't get these 24 inch extensions just to let them sit mm-hmm. here. I'll tell mm-hmm. you that. Yeah. No, it's word. so funny. Like, sometimes, like, anytime someone compliments my hair, because they always think I have, like, the secret to growth formulas. I know. I'm like, oh, I just bought it. <laughs> You're so funny. In my dance class, someone's like, your hair's beautiful. You're like, I bought it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Julia. He was, wasn't sure how I should feel about that. <laughs> it went dead silent after that. And I was I like, know. okay, I felt Ariana so Grande. bad. <laughs> I know. Well, she was, like, a little older than us, so I don't think she, like, got the reference I was trying to say. Like, new hair? Like, my yeah. hair? Just bought it yeah but you got it and i got it okay yeah i felt like it was like almost humble of me to say i don't know like i don't know No, it is i used to do that too when i wore extensions or lashes they're like are those your real lashes i'm like no, no honey yeah no i wish because even after i said that she said something about like her hair won't grow and i'm like yeah girl same mine wouldn't either so yeah. <laughs> solution sewn in my head girl <laughs> can't put my hair in a high ponytail oh. there are downfalls a yeah. little bit i mean yeah. i could if i just didn't care but i care <laughs> <laughs> and that's me that's why i have 24 inch extensions that's i care okay. That's okay. what dancers inspire you the most inspire me um isabel capital i love mm-hmm. her she's a little hip-hop queen uh, nicole kirkland oh. Aaliyah janelle are you kidding me yes crazy i feel like there's just so many jade chenoweth she's mm-hmm. amazing we love her she we is do, great i feel like there's just so many people 
it's hard to even think Facts. of all the names. I'm what like was constantly... like one of the first dancers that you like clung on to? Jade. Jade was the first dancer that I really was like, whoa, this girl has style. She's great. She's just like top tier, man. Like she is a beast straight up. Some people just have that like swag. They do. They really do have they that really swag. Do. No, What's your favorite great. kind of dance? I like heels. Me too. I feel like that's what I'm good at. So I really like heels, but I want to like deep dive into hip hop soon. I'm just little. So sometimes it's like hard for me to execute these moves so mm. big and kind of like in your face because that's kind of how hip hop is. True, true. It can be smooth, obviously, a lot of footwork, but I don't know. I feel like you kill the hip hop, to be honest. You're like a little shawty. Well, you got the cute outfits you. for it. Thank you. Be you with I it. need to figure out how to get a little deeper in my pocket, but you know, I'd be watching people. Uh, Jordan Grace from Nashville, wild in. Oh. Oh, wild and swag literally yeah literally queen of swag no honestly sometimes Insane. her choreography is just hard to get because like she's just so personally swaggy yeah like no one can move like the way jordan does it doesn't matter and you just wouldn't expect it like i would no I, I literally street, i saw her i was like bring it on to your leader girl like cute blonde girl and i was like where are you from no literally where are you from, girl? <laughs> because she got it. That's that's deep in her, baby. That's it that's passion. Really that's talent. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. I feel like that's what I have to find. It's like I like I'm trying to serve face. I'm always like mouthing the lyrics though, so it's hard. You to know, serve honestly face. though, I think during dance sometimes, like sometimes it's hard when you mouth the lyrics, like when you in the face, like maybe not the whole choreo. But for me, I personally feel like, you know, during a part that's specific and in your face or you're just like, you know, saying what you got to say, I feel yeah. like it's cute. It does give that energy. I know that's right. Like, you know, you got to put your clap in there, get in the camera's face. I feel like sometimes I sing during dance class. I hope nobody hears me because it's like how I rehearse, like trying to like increase my lung capacity because I'll go on the treadmill and sing. And so I just feel like dance class, if I know the song, I can like easily kind of I feel like, like it's work just on it. natural for you because I was telling you, I was teaching class y'all and I'm trying to like, I can't sing, but I'm like talking, singing the song. I'm doing the moves. I'm showing everybody. I turned around and looked at Juliana. I was like, how do you do this on stage? Like I cannot breathe. I'm like trying to catch my breath. I'm having to pause in the middle of my <laughs> sentence. Like... It's that's funny because I was singing in class the other night, like <laughs> while we were doing it, because I was like, "That's how I remember it. I like remember things by words. I feel like that's how do big, you remember things? Yeah, words are a big thing for me. I'm awful. <laughs> I'm so awful because I feel like when I teach, people expect counts, and maybe that helps people, but for some reason, counts just do not flow with me. Like counts I try, hard, yeah, I really try, and I can. I mean, I can. It's just right. I flow a lot better listening to the words or the beat. I'm like a big person that because I teach a lot of beginner stuff, so. Even if it's a fast song, like that Danny Kane song, it was slow in the beginning, kind of picked up. I still try to keep it that, like, beginner level. Right. So instead of looking for the words sometimes, I'll look for the beat instead because it'll That's be smart. a little bit slower. I feel like um, with, like, music as well, like, I really go off the beat. But if I'm having, like, a hard time getting a rhythm, then I'll count it out. Yeah. But I don't feel like counting is, like, my main thing that I'm doing. Same. I'm counting more when I'm, like, breaking it down and making it up a yeah. little bit, I feel like. But when it comes to teaching and stuff, I just feel like it's helpful to hear the words especially if someone doesn't know the song very well yeah that, true. that's why i post the song so that's people true. can go listen to every word and every beat and when the musicality changes a little bit facts mm -hmm. and i like that you do that because i feel like that's super important so super you know important. what you're going into yeah plus sometimes like if it's a weird song i don't know i will take the class but yeah not no. your class i'll take all of your classes <laughs> i and promise i'll never song, steer you your wrong song choice is on point so. thank you thank you r&b baby facts facts <laughs> <laughs> What would you say to someone that is nervous to start dance? Um, just go for it. Honestly, because like dance class is not a competition. I feel like people think of dance and they think of people wanting to like outdo each other. But when you're in a class, like it's crazy. Like everybody's just cheering you on and everyone's there for themselves to be better. They're focusing on themselves. Nice. Nobody's focusing on anybody else because they're there for themselves and what they want to achieve. And everybody has just a different goal yeah. during class. So I would just say go for it and just go get the experience of it because I like that. there's just something cool. I went to a class the other night and I didn't know anybody in the class, but like when I was going, everyone was cheering for me. Aww. And when I got in the car with Raul, I was like, there's just something like that feels so good about strangers that like don't even know who I am or what I'm about, but they're sitting there just like cheering me on, that like as so a sweet. human. Yeah. And it just felt so good, honestly. That's so cute. And I, I agree because I was scared to start dance and I like hit you up because we didn't know each other very well. And I went to dance and I really expected, I don't know, 
I feel like movies and TV shows dance is like these mean girl type of situations, yeah. like drama, drama. Right. No, it's literally like the most supportive place it I've is. ever been. I remember you pulled up to Tootie and Kyra's class and oh their my. class was an experience. Girl, what? Like, <laughs> there's some like lifelong friendships. Like if you are feeling like sad or down, if you pulled up to one of their classes in Nashville, like you come out literally right. thinking yeah. you're the baddest thing on earth. Yeah, and it's literally. like so amazing. And I had never taken a heels class before. It was like hours long. They had alcohol at the time. We could drink. Oh my gosh. That was lit. a little bit of wine yes. out. It was amazing, honestly. Somehow she got me to like do the splits. I was like, girl, what am I doing with my body right <laughs> what now? What am I doing right now? But she would. They push, man. They as were great. As long as you have the knee pads, I'll tell you that. <laughs> what would be your biggest tips for dancing like with an artist? An artist? I feel like... You should, you know, once you get booked or if you're interested in getting booked, you should kind of like deep dive into their music and their vibe and just mm. see what they like, like because that. there's going to be times in an audition or in a music video where they're just like, okay, freestyle, you know what I mean? Right. And okay, like you so. want to, I feel like you want to kind of fit their vibe a little bit. Right? I like that. I yeah, like take that. a deep okay. dive into the artist. I love it. <laughs> One thing I will say if you're dancing with an artist is like that I've learned because I have used dancers in music videos before that the choreographers were saying is like not to make eye contact with the camera the whole time like don't be staring the camera down and don't be mouthing the words if it's like a music video oh yeah don't don't mouth the words in that yeah no. but you really just gotta remember that dance is like so unique and everyone moves so differently True. and that's what makes you special and makes you stand out so you just gotta it. be confident in that you really just do be you. Mm -hmm. just be you and you're good to go i do love how like some classes like push you to have a freestyle even like yeah. beginners yeah i can't i'm at, like the first time i went to do that i was so nervous but i feel like it's so fun freestyle is hard i struggle with that too so yeah. like i really do but it's just all about letting go feeling the song you know Dance with people, you know. I was kind of curious. Like, so, like, when you're coming up with a dance, does it feel like a freestyle? Like, what are your steps to, like, starting to come up with a dance? Um, when I start, I put in my AirPods, blast the music as high as I can, and I do freestyle. That's how okay, I start. Yeah. And then I kind of get my vibe from there. And, you know, while I'm freestyling, I'm like, oh, I like what I did right there. I like yeah. how that hit right there. So I kind of go from freestyling, take a little bit out of what I freestyled, and then kind of piece my favorite parts together. Because you'll hear a song, and some of it hits harder than the other parts. Right. So okay. I find my hit hard parts, and then I fill it in to connect it. I love it. That's what I, I like. I feel like that's kind of like, if I'll write like a beat or something, that's kind of what I'll do. Yeah. Because sometimes if I write from scratch, it's a different story. But yeah, if I write from a beat, like I'll just like freestyle a little bit. Like, oh, I like that. I like that. So very similar. Very similar. Cute. I know. Besties. <laughs> Who would be your dream artist to work with? Oh my gosh, there's so many. I feel like, like my three. Okay. My number one, of course, I gotta go with Rihanna. She's my baby. Yes. You know, I just like her flavor. She's spicy. I like that a lot. I could have seen you on the Super Bowl <sighs> dancers. That would have been so great. They were killing it. Um, I love her. Um, let's see. A bad bunny because mm. he is just I love it. His music is so fun and awesome. And just like the Spanish culture, Puerto Rican culture, it's just amazing. And all his dancers. I like how he does with his dancers. It's not typical. Like he has some tall people, some short people. Everyone's oh, so cool. different. And it's super cool. There's a girl like on his team that's my height. Like oh, wow. that's crazy to me. And she's yeah, amazing. Really cool. So I like how he broadcasts that. And then honestly, I'm just like really into the Spanish artists right now. So like Raul Alejandro or like Rosalia, like, Ooh, oh my. or if they like, cause they're dating, if they like did a tour like, together, yeah. I would love that. So, All right. Well, oh, we yeah. put it out there. You heard it here first. Mm -hmm. Hit me up. I could see it. Hit me up. <laughs> How do you feel about Ad Bunny dating Kendall Jenner? I'm upset, but you know, <laughs> there's only so much you can do. There's facts, only so facts. much you can do. You just gotta live with it. You know, let the, let the boy be a boy. True. You know, they're. Throwing some stacks for him. It's all for publicity. I know they don't have no deep conversations. I don't have any hard feelings I'm against not anybody. Sure you are. <laughs> no, I, I think it's just dating. a. I think it's a big PR stunt. I just do. I can it just, see it. Yeah, he was like, why? Why wouldn't the dude take you know a little contract? Why not? And plus, he just moved to LA. Like he's gotta get his name out True. there. And what better way than the Kardashians? I don't have nothing Chris really Jenner, against them, no. but. I just think it's so weird for them to it be is, Yeah, it is kind of random. I thought she was still with that Devin Booker um, basketball player guy. I guess not. I guess Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> I, I mean, mean, maybe they still could be. It is Hollywood. Yeah, it is Hollywood. We literally, literally never know. You never seriously know. don't. I feel like, hmm, I don't know what my dream artists are to like tour with. Do I want to know? Dua Lipa. Okay. Silk Sonic. <sighs> Would just be gas. I would totally dance for um, them. I'm just saying. I don't know why that did not come to mind. It because would be amazing. 
I'm either like Halsey or Hozier. Oh, Two yeah. very different wow. vibes. But yes, it would I depend on that. like the EP or like album that I'm like touring at the time. Definitely. Because I feel like the next project that I'm working on would definitely be like Dua Lipa, Lizzo, Subsonic. Kind of oh, vibes. Lizzo, yes. Yeah, no, definitely. But if I ever go more songwriter with my myself, it would be definitely like a Hozier, Ed Sheeran situation. Is there any R&B ladies or anything you could think of? Who if would I be was like doing your... R&B? I feel like I wouldn't fit on R&B right now with what I'm doing. Right. But if I were SZA... I would cry. My girl. I would cry. I feel like <laughs> I could get down on some Doja Cat, even though... <laughs> Just talking about that. <laughs> but, um, SZA, her... Hmm, I don't know. If we did a little acoustic vibe example. with, like, Summer Walker. Oh, yeah. Summer. Love that woman. She's great. Her voice. Is so uh, smooth. Beautiful. I really love SZA. I love SZA. Why do people come for her album as if, like, it wasn't totally on brand for her other music? I know. I don't know. They're like, oh, she's so toxic. And I'm like... Mm hmm Mm-hmm. I, like was the last album not toxic she yeah, literally had like a song what? about like being a side chick i feel like people expect so much out of artists nowadays and everyone feels so entitled to their opinion to the point that like i've seen people comment on like jack harlow's post and be like for the hook you should have done this i've seen people make tiktoks like the hook should have been like this or like this would have been a better idea okay it's still this, a bop and like also like <laughs> not your song i don't know not you it's yeah. not you yeah no. like with SZA, it's like who are you to say that like she should make less toxic music like if that's like her story that's what she's going through right now that's literally like what she's losing her craft for yeah it's an outlet like she's not gonna just like write some fake stuff just because that's what you want and also like obviously people are a fan the album literally charted number one oh yeah so just like get off her back i just feel like people are just like so quick to just go on the internet and be negative about anything they are like i wouldn't have personally done this even though i literally can't sing i've never written a song and work at dunkin donuts yeah ex- get the <laughs> out of here get out of here with like that. i don't know i just feel like it's cool that there's so much access to artists because you know fans can yeah. be so connected but it's yeah, also like there's true. too much access to artists it in is some ways. i would be turning my comments off well like doja cat one time because i feel like one thing that like she was wanting to quit because she like played a show and oh, people were yeah. going off about people like were. what she did and didn't do and yeah stuff. and that's like since when were you so entitled to like and they're human too they're, they're human humans. too if you don't like the art that they're making don't uh, participate in the art yeah like i don't know yeah i just don't know what to expect like how do you want to change somebody that you don't even know that like doesn't answer to you most people just, are bored and have no yes. life and have no goals or didn't reach the their goal facts market research is always good <laughs> like i like posting on tiktok seeing what people like and if there's like you know if this course like sucks like that's another thing but just saying that like someone should just completely write a whole like different album i don't know no seems sus if you're not in a toxic place don't listen to toxic music get out of here ow <laughs> acrylics <laughs> speaking of like tiktok how do you feel like tiktok has changed the dance world honestly i don't know there's a love and hate with it i guess mm-hmm. because i do like all the kids are dancing now. I just oh, love yeah. it. Even like nieces, nephews, like everybody, you know, you go out, you see kids, like grandparents. Yeah. People are at the grocery store just doing their little TikToks. I guess, I don't know. There's like a, a line between TikTok dancers and real dancers. Agreed. I feel like a little bit, but honestly, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Some, some of them fun. are cute and groovy. I like them. They've made their way into like an actual dance studio sometimes. True. Some of them are cringy okay and i do feel like it like gives dancers more of a platform to like get exposure. way more of a platform yeah are you kidding yeah. me the girl that did her tiktok dance like on uh at the super bowl oh yeah yeah literally. that was so cool she was on her little stand jaden gomez a shout out literally one of my favorite tiktokers oh, ever man, she follows me back great. on tiktok that's like my, my only flex. she's great she's great <laughs> I think she's so cool too i want to be our bestie she's such a good dancer i love it yeah. her vibe is everything absolutely the only time i don't like tiktok dancing is <laughs> When like um like have you ever seen someone like answer a question and it's kind of a serious question but they're just like <laughs> like dancing to yeah. it. I saw someone like literally answering a question about like why a baby died and they were dancing or like and I was like what, what? like they lost their child and they were like yeah and they're putting the caption over it like oh no that's wrong see that's wrong that's where I feel like not I dancing but social troll. media has like gone wrong true because not... she was like oh we're gonna get views like because i'm dancing and it's trending sound and like oh yeah that's not okay it's okay to, so- to, to share troll. your trauma to have people relate and like you know maybe have people out there to talk to in but a tasteful way in a tasteful way i feel like it must have been a troll because i'm talking about it you know? yeah yeah had to have been i'm gonna yeah. tell myself that because it's less depressing that way well yeah, actually no because like people will literally like lose their dignity to get a bible 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't understand. It's a sad world. It's crazy. They're like, oh, yeah, I'll literally make up a fake story. I'll just be anybody else. Yeah. But then people genuinely go viral for being talented. I honestly, right. I'm kind of sad that they're talking about uh, banning TikTok. I feel like when it first came out I years love ago, TikTok. I didn't like it. I love it. I don't even spend that much time on it anymore. I feel like I've gotten it at a good place. I don't do I literally replaced, this is probably so wrong. I replaced Google with TikTok. I'm not even kidding. There is, I replaced like, it. actual good information i literally saved so much stuff on tiktok yeah there's so yeah. many hacks like so many life hacks are you kidding me it's amazing just like hair makeup stuff and like, you see i mean i know they just expanded but it was like 30 second videos so like you get all your info right then and there you know sometimes know. you'd be going on youtube it's like 30 minutes on how to like literally. screw something in Isn't like the max on. like five minutes or something i don't know i don't know like, i heard okay. they just made a new one that was 10 minutes for like vlogging but i don't That's know crazy. i don't i, I mean don't even 10 minutes but i like the seo like it's so search engine oriented i could yeah. literally just look up whatever and it comes up i love that it's a good app it's well, a great he, app the guy uh the ceo of tiktok was speaking at congress today yeah. At the time that this podcast was made. So I'm curious to see what happens. I guess. I want to know. It's probably funny. By the time Honestly, this comes out, we'll know. When I'm like sad, I just need to laugh. Like TikTok's funny. My oh, like, my pages are just, they're hilarious. Oh, and they're like cute yeah. shoes. <laughs> I like it. And I love, and dancing. That's all it is. I love Mine's it. Mine's like funny stuff and um, music. Yeah. Really. Yeah. That's what I've got going on. I like how it's like so personal. Like I not know, everyone's saying the same stuff. It's like directed at what you That's like. That's why boys, um, girls know like if something comes up on your feed, it didn't just like come up on your feed like yeah, randomly. No. They know that you'd be watching it. So just know that we know how algorithms work. And that's not a good cover story, okay? So if it's coming up on your For You page, it's because it's for you. Mm-hmm. And that's what you watch. So just get it together Please. for all the girlies. Please. All the girlies. Because we will find you. We will find I'm you. I'm not worried about my man. We will but help your girl figure it out. Mans, yeah. We're for the girls. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. and all the girls out there, that's what's going on. Don't believe him. Don't believe him. <laughs> So you have a little two-year-old girl who I is a, a bottle of sunshine and also chaos. The sassiest thing I've <laughs> ever met. Y'all, this two-year-old is crazy. She'd be talking in like full sentences. She's bilingual, so she'll be asking for something. I'm like, I have no idea what no, she needs. I was like, oh, it's this. I'm like, okay. She was like, oh, no, Ben, Ben, Ben. <laughs> ben, Ben, Ben. Yeah, and ben. she grabs your little hand. Yeah. She's like, Ben. And I was like, Helena, oh, what? She said, here. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's so funny. Her little babbling's so cute. It's oh, so, so serious. great, but so crazy having a toddler. It's crazy. And how do you balance having a toddler with working two jobs and, like, just pursuing your life? I don't. <laughs> I freak out <laughs> I all the time because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm just out. kidding. No, I... Okay. I am I freak out. <laughs> I'm literally I feel like I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful for like the opportunity I do have through work because I work at a restaurant and I only work two days a week there. So that's like nothing, that's right? Nice, that's like yeah. essentially that's like my me time. That's when I'm by myself, that's you nice. know, no man, no baby, no nothing. And like I just like that in my free time I'm making some money. I like that. You know what I mean? And yeah. serving is easy. I'm literally what do you want to drink? What do you want to eat? Love it. Yeah. Come yeah. see me at Jonathan's y'all. An amazing happy hour. <laughs> and <laughs> and then, like, lights. that's only two days a week. And then with dance, I just, we have so much help with family. So I'm, like, super grateful that we live around both of our families. Because oh, yeah, the help we amazing. have is, like, insane. And, like, she has so many cousins and aunties and stuff that want to spend time with her that's so, sweet. so it's sweet that we have family that can just take care of her oh it takes a village and she's gonna it grow takes up a so whole loved. village a whole and village. that's why she's so loving mm-hmm. she's a she's loving so little baby sweet. she's a very happy baby she is she's so cute even after she got sick yesterday she's like i'm fine i'm fine yeah, yeah. just went for it we she don't just ate to... way too many cheetos yeah. we don't have to talk about yesterday <laughs> that was crazy <laughs> i don't know babies could could barf like that um it was a grown grown man can be fine right after no literally it's like me when i'm like drinking too much at an event and then i go throw up in the bathroom and i come right back out and i'm like let's take a tequila shot i know i'm literally like after i throw up i'm like oh i feel better that was literally me yeah i was probably (laughs) i like felt bad for her but it was also funny because like she's throwing up she doesn't know what to do and she's like ew 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 i know she hated it but it's okay she was good right after walking in the bathroom with me bounce back back quick she's strong yeah she's like where's juliana right after i'm like oh i'm cleaning it up (laughs) i'm cleaning up a good friend this girl that has no babies (laughs) cleaned up after my baby i'm shook well, I'm I was sure. like, I mean, it feels like you're probably cleaning that up a lot more than I, was, I ever have. I was. So. I was. Everyone panicked. There was like three people in the room, well, and we were all like, what do we do? And he was like, we- ah! 
<laughs> mostly got on that blanket but we're all grabbed like just like a few paper towels and i was like we need more you were like towels like she didn't even know where my towels were but juliana just jumped like found. dove into my laundry room and just found some it was amazing i think it's just like some sort of motherly instinct it i don't was, know it, it was. was in there it was it's and you're not... like where is your floor cleaner <laughs> i was like where is things? it i didn't even say i said what i had and you just found it i don't know how i just didn't like the smell <laughs> yeah, being a mom eyes. is amazing <laughs> <laughs> it is though it's so very fun. humbling and i'm grateful there's nothing like more rewarding than it honestly and we need to talk about the fact that she took your phone one time and set it down and recorded herself dancing she did bad <laughs> bunny was own. playing we were at the park bad bunny was playing and she was like give me that she'll literally just sit my phone down on the snapchat and record herself and she'll just that's precious. she'll get it she'll get it she's a little she dancer so cute when she did it mm. she even had they call it like the gen z like set down yeah thing, how they do yeah. that in the beginning mm-hmm. literally her she did that what generation is she considered she's not gen z so she's like what's after z i wish i knew but i i don't i don't keep them in that <laughs> Dude, uh, i want to know i want to know the ages. But yeah y'all let me know my girls too what is she yeah do you have any unpopular dance opinions I feel like my unpopular opinion was like mouthing the lyrics sometimes goes hard. Okay, I like it. I feel like it is. Like I'm I just, with it. I, a lot of, I you know, like training other people, they're always like, do not sing it. But I'm like, if this female is talking and yelling at this dude or this camera, yeah, like you I better be it. doing it too. Yeah. I agree. I'm yeah. with you. That's how I Especially think. like last night, a little showstopper. It's like, I'm a showstopper. Mm-hmm. Show, like, how are you not going to strike a pose and say showstopper? Yeah, I don't know. No, literally. Because that's what I am. Yeah. yeah, like that's what I am. I'm, like, I'm going to say it out loud. I'm going to dance it. I need to believe it, okay? Yeah, exactly. So, facts, facts. Exactly. We're going to enter the fun portion. Well, it's not that this all hasn't been fun because, like, I know that we're literally, like, the funniest people you've ever met. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I know this has just been, like, a pleasure for you guys, like, mm-hmm. but it's going to get better. It's going to get better. So, we're going to play some games. And by that's some, it. I mean the one that we came up with. Okay. So you guys know the TikTok trend. He's a 10, but. Okay. Or he's a 2, okay. but. Okay. So we're going to, we've written down a few, but maybe we'll off the dome a few and yeah. maybe not because yeah. that takes lots of pressure. <laughs> it does. It does. I'm not a stand up improv comedian. I'm not good at that. I have major anxiety. <laughs> Improv what? Anxiety, sisters. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yay. <laughs> I'm talking about like doing freestyles, but we can't like improv. I know. A joke. <laughs> no. Go off. Okay, so <laughs> why is this our first one? <laughs> We're going to start off with this. He's a 10, but he listens to Logic. He's like, I feel like he's like down to a six. I, only I because... Agree. I feel weird because, like, did he go alone? Did he take someone? Because I'm not going to lie. When my little cousin, Brooklyn, she yeah. was, like, I think she was, like, nine. I took her to Logic. Okay. Okay. For like, her enjoyment. Older Logic kind of popped off. Like, he has some good stuff. If I say it makes him a six, too. If that's, like, his number one guy. Yeah. Sorry, bro. He was six. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. Um, He's a ten, but he can't cook. I mean, like, does he buy me food? <laughs> I guess that is the question. I'm the cooker in the relationship because, like, I Let's can't say, say no. that statement's He's a ten, not true. But, like, he expects you to cook and like doesn't buy you food. Okay, then you're, uh, you're a zero. You're a zero. Yeah, you can't facts. feed me. Okay, but if he buys you food, okay, I see. I see. If he buys me food, I just knock it down to like maybe like a seven. If you're buying me like good food, like don't go to no he McDonald's, buys- Burger King, like yeah. go to a steakhouse and bring me home some. I'd say it could be like an eight. Yeah, he could be like, an eight because like I cook, so yeah. like. I don't cook. My man cooks. We're opposite. Ten. Yeah. Our ten. Yeah. Everyone's a ten. Yeah. Except for this guy who can't cook. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's a nine, but he hates Rihanna. Pff, you're one. Facts. One. Because, like, what? Why would you hate her? Yeah. Why would you hate her? What about, like, I feel like this is more a question for me. Like, he's an eight, but he doesn't respect Taylor Swift's career. I'm not saying you have to, like, like her music, but I feel like you have to like her career. It makes him a two for me because it's giving, can't give a woman her roses. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like you got to respect the career in it. So, like, 
Wait, she's what was he? He was an eight. Music. He's an eight, but he doesn't like. He just doesn't respect her. Career. Let's do five. You, five. you got bumped down to okay. five. I, I respect that. I bumped him down to a two, because she's about to be a billionaire, just like off her music, and that's crazy. You like some tea swizzle. I do like some tea swizzle, and you know what? She made a whole empire. She did saying. make an empire. She's literally like diving into her stage. She's smart, dude. Tour. She's smart. She's very smart. She's got it going on. Yeah. That wasn't on our list, but okay. He's a two, but he listens to Kalani. Oh shit! You an eight boy? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Can you be my best friend? Once we got in the car and Nate was listening to Summer Walker, and I was like, "Wow, oh, a changed man!" <laughs> Literally, like a ten. <laughs> A ten. I feel that. I'd be playing like some Megan Thee Stallion where I was like, turn it up. Oh, wow. I'm like, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, that song is like, I'm her, 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 her. I put that in my time vault. So Spotify did this thing where you could like make a time vault playlist at the start of the year okay. to open. And the only one I remember putting on there was like my guilty pleasure song being her by Megan Thee Stallion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's, it's giving. giving. It's giving. Mm-hmm. It's giving. He's a ten, but he listens to Andrew Tate. And like respects Andrew Tate. Zero. Negative. As literally a negative, negative ten. ten. A negative, negative ten. Hundred. Boy you bye. Suck. Literally. Get out of my go face. Away. And in the same vein, he's an eight, but he okay. hates Drew Afalo or Af- Afalo. He's a two because maybe he didn't see enough video. Her pack was hilarious. She's literally so funny. They're t- like. She pops off. Like, if you don't like her, I think it's a red flag, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, you're insulted. Because if, if you don't like her, you're insulted. insulted. Like, if you're insulted by Drew, you are the problem. Because she only talks about Big men problems. that are the problem. Exactly. She makes reactionary content. So if you content. feel offended, you're the, the problem. problem. Reactionary content, okay, baby? That's all I can say. But guys be posting the darnest things on TikTok, and her, she is things. so funny. We watched one just before this. I know. <laughs> she's a freaking hilarious. And now she's like, she literally interviews like on red carpets. She was doing it at the Oscars. Go off. Go off, queen. Proud of you. Proud I love that like guys try to like troll her for like how she looks or whatever and try to say like she doesn't have a boyfriend and she literally has like a Jason Momoa. I know. Boyfriend. I know. I'm like, mm, queen. Okay. He's a three, but he's good to his mom. Okay. You can be like a seven. Like yeah, yeah, let's bump yeah. them up there. Bonus points if you have like little siblings and you're dating. Yeah, yeah, like a family man. Yeah, yeah. Go off. <laughs> Go off. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, did we already do this one? He's an eight, but he's rude to waitresses. I'm a waitress. You're a fucking <laughs> negative eight. Get out of here. Facts, honestly. I will tell you off, and I will tell your girlfriend <laughs> to tell you off too. <laughs> I cannot put up with it. People be complaining. I'm like. Okay, just turn around, leave him. Get my manager. I'm like, come deal with this. I'm not doing this today. Would you ever want to be a manager? No. (laughs) Why do you think I'm not one? (laughs) I would never in the restaurant industry be a manager. You got me. You got me messed up. Okay, he's an eight, but he's a restaurant manager. (laughs) (laughs) Well, like, honestly, to be a manager, like, that takes some, like, I don't know, man. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I'd be wanting to pop off on yeah. people. Like, self-control. Better. You have self-control. Honestly, that, that makes you better. I feel okay. that makes you a better person. I like it. Okay. Yeah, I so like you it. were eight. Now you can be ten. That's fine. I like it. That's okay. fine. I'm with it. I'm with it. He can take control, and he can tell people no. But he's an eight, but, like, he works in the kitchen at, like, a Longhorn Steakhouse. <laughs> did you take I'm someone who worked in the kitchen? No, your face? no. Like, I'm just right? saying, like kitchen boys, bro. Uh, yeah, they're such a type. <laughs> they're such a type. Oh my goodness, they're not for me. Specific. But I have seen the waitress fall in love with the line cooks. It can happen. Isn't that like a trope. Like it's. I've never. <laughs> it can in either be really there. good or like really bad. But then at the end of the day, like the girl is bagging someone that can cook for them. Okay. So like, yeah. you know what I mean? But I feel like people who cook for a living, like, do they want to cook when they get home? I feel like they almost do because, you know, like, good at cooking. I prefer, like, my own food over somebody okay, else. And I also Shut live with up. a great cook. And then, like, what a life. Honestly, Y'all both cook. Honestly. Y'all both cook. You mean you guys both go in the kitchen and help each other? Like, Shut will up. my man be in the kitchen? I'm like, get out. Get out. I feel like that's literally me. Like, this is like, my can I space. And he's so sweet. You'll be like, oh, go I'll sit do on the it. Couch. <laughs> and I'm like, I think you're just I'm trying like, to, like, You can nice drink a beer. Lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. can eat this appetizer. He's so gentle. He's like, hey, look, here's a drink. Like, you go over there. Wow, and I'm like, so oh, sweet. thank you. As I'm, like, chugging my wine while I'm, like, whipping it up. <laughs> okay. So I'd pour some in there. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me see. He's a 10, but he listens to Chance the Rapper's post-acid rap albums. I don't even know anything past that. 
that he's well, done. Then we can just say that he's like a seven. I feel like, yeah. Because... And if he also listens to Logic, then he's like a four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no offense, Logic. You're, you you were great for the kids. I well, feel no like, offense, maybe. Chance the Rapper either. You seem like a really good person. Have you seen him do his like freestyles and stuff? There was like a recent like late night show that no, it was like I did him not see that. and one of the Migos. Maybe I should have said this. Maybe he's a, maybe I'm this guy's a show. 10. Y'all, when I get whenever, I don't know, but I like the albums before that. That yeah, you're talking about. Facts, I don't know yeah. any albums after. I really don't. But like what he just proved himself on some freestyle stuff. I'm gonna have to show you. I will have I'm to see. Like- okay, so thank you for playing in these years Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yes, I, I volunteer know. as tribute. <laughs> what? I don't even know what the symbol is. I kind of want to rewatch. I don't that. either. For some I'm reason, awful. Yeah. I've never seen it. <laughs> That's crazy. To I'm me. sorry. Like, did you read the books? I was like, no, because I was like. I was that kid that was like, if it's a trend, I don't want to okay, do it. Okay, okay. If I, everyone has this MySpace song, I I, I don't want it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She copied my profile song. I was that. I feel like that kid. I was like that with like clothes and certain things. Same. Where'd you get it? <laughs> the store. Yeah. No. Like if it was the like store. the kind of like what people were wearing, it was like not. What was wrong with me? Like I was such a gatekeeper. No, literally. But like that was, was just a thing where- back then. Like. Like, it you was. don't wear the same outfit. You don't wear the same shirt. You don't wear the same leggings. You don't wear pink. What was, yeah, like, the war yeah. on pink, by the way? Because, like, know. pink is actually a good color. We I had know. ourselves, like, convinced that it wasn't. Yeah. All acting like we had good taste when we were putting, like, uh, My blue raccoon ex- raccoon no, tail extensions mustaches in. Mustaches on everything. Dude, no, literally. <laughs> the little glasses, like, that. I know. For show. Or, like, I would have, like, this serious side bang with, Stop. like, the, oh the clip right yes. here. Exactly. The uh dude, the freaking duct tape wallets. Oh my goodness, the duct tape wallets. Throwback. And People were flexing, they were selling them in like elementary I school. Know. And we thought we had like the authority on fashion. We did. We're like, you wear pink. You wear <laughs> pink? Get the f- out of my face. <laughs> Wearing pink like that. Oh my goodness. Stop. I'm like and the bedazzled jeans. The bedazzled jeans. Do you know jeans. how many of my mom's me? kitchen share miss me jeans? Scratch that the f- out of my mom's kitchen chairs, dude. Always. Literally. Always. What? My mom's like, why do you need those? And they were so expensive for what? I'm like, we're literally they were in crazy. middle school. Still cute, though, I would wear I them. I mean, honestly, facts. But it was like kind of like you weren't cool if you didn't have them. Oh, yeah. No. Middle school was so extra. I, I would hate to be in middle school right now. Me too. With- honestly, like, my whole middle school, cringy. Super cringy. <laughs> but I would not trade it for the world. Not me either. I loved, like, the hype of wanting to be a scene kid and, like, yes. MySpace being a thing. Like, MySpace still stands, like, the best social media ever. Like, I will never. It definitely I'm does. so glad I was there for that era. Absolutely. It was a good era, and I'm thankful. But now, like, it's wild. It is. It's so wild. It's, it's such a competition and cutthroat. It is. Mm-mm, I couldn't do it. Me either. Well, Helena, thank you so much for coming on I Eat Vibes for Breakfast. Thank you so much for having me. I hope you had some fun. I had so much fun. All right. Well, stay groovy. Stay groovy, baby. Stay groovy.